I was not filming that entire time. <laughs> I got like halfway done through the video. No, I didn't see it. Ah. Okay, now I gotta get through this fast. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Hey everyone, so I just got halfway through recording this video and realized that I was not recording. Ah! And we have dance here in a little bit, so I gotta get going. Um, but I do want to film this for you guys. This is gonna be my new favorites videos. I'm basically gonna be showing you guys the stuff that I have bought throughout the month. I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna completely do away with hauls quite yet. I think I'm just gonna change the routine in which I do my hauls. Typically with my hauls I like to give little mini reviews, but I think I'm gonna start not doing that. And if I do do a haul, it'll be more like just showing you guys stuff. And then you guys can wait around for this video to actually hear my thoughts on it. I feel like my favorites videos are either rediscovered products or they're just a repeat of what I showed you in my hauls. And I don't really feel like that is entertaining or beneficial to watch for anyone. So I decided to switch up my routine. I'm just going to do away for favorites videos for a little while. I might bring them back, but for now I'm going to do this and just show you guys kind of what I thought on all the stuff that I bought throughout the month. So without further ado, let's just get on into it. The first thing that I purchased this month were some new Jordana lippies. I mainly went for these Jordana Easy Liners. These are my favorite lip liners in the entire world. Um, I got a couple of different shades, a couple of different pinks and nude colors. These are incredible. I've mentioned these in the past, so I'm not going to stick around on these for too long, but they're pigmented, they're long wearing, they really help to keep your lipstick from feathering, and they just make everything last a lot longer and kind of create more of that sharp line around your lips. Um, I don't like spending a whole lot of money on my lip liners just because they're not something I wear every single day, but these guys are amazing. And I honestly have tried lip liners from NAC, I've tried lip liners from Urban Decay, from NYX, from everywhere, and these remain my favorite. And while I was perusing the Jordana station within Walgreens, there was also a display for these uh, Jordana Modern Matte Lipsticks. So I picked up three. I got Matte Classy, by the way, these have the weirdest names, Matte Pretty and Matte Popular. So kind of a pink, a coral, and a nude. And these, I must say, are, they're okay. I think that for the price, they're good, but they aren't like the best matte lipstick in the entire world. They don't feel drying on the lips. However, when you apply them, they tug like crazy. And I don't know what it is. The formulation itself is just really hard in the tube. And so when you're applying it, you're like, eh, you gotta like really spread out your lips and kind of make a weird face to get these on, which isn't very enjoyable. Um, but the colors themselves are really nice and they're really pretty. They last a long amount of time time. I do enjoy these. Would I buy more? Probably not because I just don't feel like these are an incredible formulation, but I like them enough to use up the ones that I have. Um, I don't know if I would particularly recommend them. If you want a matte lipstick on a budget, sure. Uh, I know e.l.f. also has some, and I think that the e.l.f. matte lipstick crayons are just a bit better, and I think that they're like maybe only a dollar more, so I would probably go with those. Um, but you know, these are kind of fun, and I really like the shades. I was needing a new shave cream, and one day it just randomly ran out, and that same day I was at TJ Maxx, so I decided to go peruse my TJ Maxx beauty section, and I found this. This is the Archipelago Bot Botanicals Leg Lather Milk, if I'm pronouncing this right at this all. stuff is incredible. It gives you the smoothest, most comfortable shave that I, at least I've ever experienced. Uh, it made my legs feel so extremely soft after I use this and just really nourished. And with those uh, shave creams that usually get dispensed from like a can and kind of come up as a foam, I've used those for years and years and years and years. Those are the only kind of shave cream, shave gels that I've ever used. But this just, I think, totally trumps it because there's something about the actual formulation. It's a lot more of a gel. Nothing about this foams up. It kind of has almost the consistency of like shampoo and then once you start to rub it in it lathers up a bit and kind of creates a thicker lather it just I feel like protects my skin from the razor a lot more nicely and I think that they can just maybe put some more ingredients in here that are more nourishing so I really like this stuff if you can find this at your TJ Maxx I highly 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 recommend that you purchase it especially if you have sensitive skin and you're really prone to razor burns or razor bumps my legs are the most sensitive legs in the entire world and this works miracles I placed an order with Sephora earlier and I picked up their, ooh, I have to reach for it, uh, their sun safety kit. And this is something that they release every single summer and I've never really sprung on it before but I decided to this year because I always have sunscreen crises before the summer starts. Where I live, we only get about three months of sun in summer <laughs> where it's where you should be wearing sunscreen. And so I don't really tend to purchase sunscreens very often and to be honest, I'm not sunscreen savvy at all because I don't have to use them enough to really know a lot about them or keep up with them. So this for me is perfect because it allows me to 
try out a plethora of different sunscreens without committing to buying a full size one in case I don't end up liking it. Um, I am also so scared about sunscreen breaking me out so I have a really hard time purchasing sunscreen because there's something about sunscreen that I don't know why I'm just afraid of it. I just don't like the feeling of it most of the time. I don't really like the smell and I just feel like it is always clogging my pores. So I am very very excited to have this. I have tried a couple of the products so far. Um, I would say the one that stands out to me the most is actually the self tanner. I know. Um, the sunscreens are really good too, but this self tanner that they threw in here is so amazing. It's the Saint Tropez One Night Only Wash Off Face and Body Lotion. It's this really like dark brown color. This is actually the one for light to medium skin. They also have one for medium to dark, which I imagine that being like super intense. Uh, this is amazing if you like missed a spot with your self tanner or maybe you have some funky tan lines that you need to recover up. It just makes your skin look glowing and beautiful and amazing. It's water and transfer resistant, which I totally agree. And it just washes off with soap and water. It is so incredible. I mean, I cannot recommend this enough. This is definitely a product that I will repurchase in the full size because it gives you the most beautiful color ever. Sometimes I'll only tan like my chest and my arms because if I'm wearing, you know, if I plan on wearing maxi dresses that week or pants or I just don't plan on wearing short dresses or, you know, skirts or anything, what's the point of tanning my legs? Those are like the hardest place for me to tan. So uh, this is great if I end up like, you know, maybe wearing a maxi dress during the day and then uh, during night if I'm going out and I want to wear a skirt or something I'm like oh my top half of my body doesn't match my bottom I can check this stuff on my legs and I look totally evened out and tan and glowing and amazing so yeah I cannot recommend this stuff enough but the whole set itself I think is great but it is sold out so I'm gonna try to move on from that during that same order I had a coupon code that allowed me to get a deluxe sample of the belief the true cream aqua bomb I picked this up because I was needing a new moisturizer so I thought I would try this plus I saw this on the Sephora website and it intrigued me more than anything uh, first off, it smells incredible. It's got a very grapeseed oil kind of fragrance. It kind of smells like a snow cone almost. I really like it. It's very kind of like sweet, but not like overly powerful. Just very fresh, and I really, I really like it. Um, but unfortunately, on my skin, I don't think my skin really liked this too much. It's not like it broke out. I just started to get, you know, a little bit more bumps, and I don't feel like it provided enough moisture for my skin. I feel like my skin was just needing more than what this could provide me, you know, moisture-wise. So I would not purchase the full size. I think if you have very, very oily skin, you would like this. But for somebody combination, I just, I don't know if your dry areas are going to appreciate this too much. I got a new dry shampoo because I was running low on my last one, and this was on clearance at Ulta. It's the Alterna Bamboo Style Cleanse Extend Translucent Dry Shampoo. I got mine in the Sheer Blossom scent, which smells like flowers, perfume. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It makes your hair smell amazing. Like when you wear this, you don't need to wear perfume because it's honestly that strong, but I like it. This is like intense stuff. Um, it's something where if I'm, you know, kind of dealing with like fourth or sometimes fifth day hair, this works incredible. It just works wonders. Um, for second day or third day hair, I think it's a little bit too intense and it kind of dries out my roots a little bit too much. But if you need some serious like cleansing action, this stuff is amazing. Uh, you guys know the Play It Big Dry Shampoo is my absolute favorite and I still do like that for second, third day hair. But when my hair starts to get a little bit more greasy and I really need something to like get in there and soak it all up that's what I reach for this stuff for I would consider purchasing this again I know it's regularly 22 bucks which kind of breaks my heart because the play a big one is like five but uh, this stuff I mean it gets it done plus it is a true translucent dry shampoo I have dark roots for somebody who you know has this going on translucent dry shampoos are usually a joke they usually will still show up but this one doesn't so I love it I got tons of lashes this month. Um, let's see here. I got these Kiss, uh, what are these? Look so natural. They're in the style Shy. Oh, this packaging that I have is just something wonky going on here. I have worn these about two or three times now. These are amazing. Oh my goodness. These new Kiss lashes, they're built so that the ends sort of taper off instead of normal lashes where they're kind of cut at a blunt end. So there's the same, uh, I guess, thickness from root to tip. These ones at the tip just kind of taper off, which gives them more of this wispy appearance. These are beautiful. I'm debating wearing these on my wedding day. I wore them at my bridal shower. Loved them. They are the prettiest, most natural yet. I mean, you're still wearing eyelashes and you can tell that you definitely got some length and fullness going on, but they look gorgeous. They don't look like, oh my God, she's wearing fake eyelashes. They're just amazing and they feel so comfortable on. 
And then I got two from Ardell as well because Ardell lashes are just kind of a good go-to. I got the number 45s and then the number 124s. Both of these are extremely, extremely natural lashes. I kind of prefer the 124s. The 45s are kind of a little bit too spaced out for me and they're a little bit too long. They just kind of look a little bit awkward. I don't hate them, but I'm not in love with them. These are definitely a little bit more my style, although the Kiss ones I prefer because in comparison, they are a lot more full, but they still kind of have a similar length going on so I would buy these again um, I still love my Ardell lashes and will continue to buy different styles but these are a real winner I'm so impressed by those and then I also got some House of Lashes lashes you might have noticed this in my uh, one of my last tutorials my summer bronze eye I got the House of Lashes iconic I got the three pack because Jacqueline Hill made me do it uh, these are amazing I mean you can just watch that tutorial and see how incredible those are those are definitely worth the hype they're obviously pretty intense but they're great and then I got the bombshell lashes. These are uh, what I used in my last bridal makeup tutorial or by this it should be it was my bridal makeup number one so these were kind of like one of the first lash styles that I'm kind of trying out debating if I want to use they're really nice kind of have the same length they just get a little bit longer towards the center and they feel so good on I am honestly so impressed by these house of lashes lashes could not recommend them enough I have had such bad luck with lashes especially like this that have the thick bands in the past but for some reason house of lashes just got it right and these are comfortable and easy to apply and they're totally worth the money. They are so good. I got the uh, Physician's Formula because I had some CVS bucks, and so I basically got both of these, I think for like $2 or something. Um, I got the Eye Booster Pen. I mentioned this a million times in my past videos. It's just a liquid eyeliner that has a brush tip. This is in the Ultra Black formulation. I'm wearing it today. Really, really good stuff. It's just a good black eyeliner. I've mentioned it a lot in the past, like I've said. It's just one of my go-tos. And then I got the Organic Wear. This is the BB Bigger Better Lashes Mascara. This is like one of the only Physicians Formula mascaras I've tried that I don't like. And I feel like in my haul video I mentioned that, oh, there's not one that I've tried that I don't like. I'm totally like eating my words right now because I do not like this mascara. Um, this side here, the one that isn't curved, the one that's a little bit more flat, I kind of like that side. It builds very, very natural volume to the point where it kind of just blackens your lashes. But this one here, the one that's curved, there is so much product that gets gunked up in between those combs that when you go through to comb it through your your lashes it makes your lashes like three big clumps oh my goodness I do not like this I will continue to use it um, especially the non curved side maybe as like a lower lash mascara or something but I would not repurchase this I think the CC mascara from them is really good and then the original just the one in the green packaging is a big thumbs up but this guy I would skip uh, a couple of things that I returned I got a Maybelline bloom lipstick from their blooms collection um, I got a color that I just really didn't like so I ended up returning that and then the Stila patina lip stain Everybody talks about this lip stain. It did not work for me. It did not look good on me. It made my lips look like grandma lips, and I did not appreciate that. Um, the color, just for my coloring and my hair color and everything, was completely off. It just looks so bad on me. I just felt like I was I was too young to be wearing a lip shade that was that kind of color. It just really aged me, but not in a good way, in a very, like... Ugh, it looks like you just put on your grandma's lipstick kind of way. Usually that kind of stuff doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm all for deep kind of brown tone lips, but I, there does come a point where it has to be the right shade to fit your skin tone, and that just wasn't mine. Uh, also, the Urban Decay Naked Concealer, I purchased that. Oh my goodness, I wanted to love it so bad. The coverage was great. It was so thin, but it dried out my skin like no other. Oh my goodness. I could not believe how drying this concealer was. I would apply it, and then by the end of the day, I would just have a big dry patch under my eyes or on a spot or wherever I decided to put it. That was not nice, especially under my eyes. My poor under eyes suffered so badly from that stuff. So I had to get rid of it, unfortunately, even though I wanted to love it so bad. I got a new toner, and this is the Clinique Turnaround Vitalizing Lotion. I just like ran out of all my skincare at once, which was like really crazy for me because skincare is not cheap, and I was not wanting to, you know, spend money on it at the time. But you know, you kind of have to bite the bullet and do it. Um, this is their new toner that they just released and I so far I do really like this stuff it does have a slight bit of a chemical exfoliant which if you guys watch my how to diminish acne scars video you can learn more about that there um, but this stuff feels really refreshing on the skin it makes my skin look brighter and smoother and just lovely I am like I said really digging this and to be honest I haven't I've only used it now for maybe a week and a half so I'm still kind of going through my trial period of it but so far 
mm, we're lovers. I really like this stuff and I would recommend that you try this. Um, I'm wanting to try more products from this line because I have a feeling that it's going to be a winner. So I told you guys my story with the Naked Concealer, so I had to pick up a new one, and I got the Smashbox High Definition Concealer. I haven't been, honestly, using this for too long, so I just, I don't want to tell you guys yes or no. Um, I'm wearing it today, and so far, I really like it. It doesn't settle into my lines. It's a lot more hydrating than that than the uh, Urban Decay one is. It covers very nicely. It looks good over spots. It looks good over uh, dark circles. So, so far, I'm really liking it. The only thing I don't like is the price. This fucker is expensive. And you only get 0.27 fluid ounces. I mean, compared to like my Maybelline Master Conceal, this stuff is pathetic. I mean, do you see the size difference there? <laughs> so I don't know if I would repurchase this in the future just because I kind of feel like it's a bit of a rip off, but it is a really good concealer and I'm happy that I have it because it is working really nicely. I just, am, oh, I don't know. I really like this. This stuff is great. I would say that, you know, if you're on more of a budget, go this way. Um, I don't know if I'd recommend this just because of the price, but if you can get over that, the product is really great. So I got a couple new brushes as well. I got this IT Cosmetics brush. This is their number 105 airbrush blending crease. I got this kind of to use um, instead of my Sonia Kashuk one, which I use all the time, which is starting to just kind of really fray out on me. So I needed something new. I use this today and I really like it. It works just as well as this guy, except it's a little bit more controlled. You can kind of see the size difference there, but it is so soft. Blends out color so well. It picks up a good amount of product. So far, I'm really, really liking it. And and uh, I just, I mean, yeah, it's great. They have little testers at Ulta. You can kind of feel it and everything and see if it's going to work for you. So, so far I'd recommend it. And the price on it wasn't bad either. I also got a shit ton of e.l.f. brushes. Um, they were having this big sale and uh, I just was, I don't know, I've been kind of needing some new brushes. And so I got these and so far I am really liking them. But I'm going to hold off on this actually because I'm going to be doing a whole separate review on these. So you hear more about these later. But, I mean, they're the e.l.f. Studio brushes. They're amazing. I did get a new face wash as well, like I said, I was running out of skincare. Uh, I got the Nude Purify Cleansing Wash. This is interesting because it's not a sulfate, it's not a sulfate cleanser, it's a sulfate free cleanser. So it doesn't really foam up on the skin, so sometimes it feels like you're not really getting clean. But it does work nicely, it smells like bananas, it smells amazing, and I do find that it does cleanse the skin. I use it with a Clarisonic type of a brush, and so far I really enjoy it. It's good for the summer because it is more of a gel, so it kind of, uh, you know, I feel like it cleanses my skin a little bit more than my Paula's Choice one does, which is a little bit more moisturizing. So for the summer, I do really enjoy this, and I would recommend it. I think that it's a really, really great cleanser. And then the moisturizer that I decided on, I got the Cora's Pomegranate Moisturizer, and is that what the this is called pomegranate oh moisturizing gel cream oh my goodness this stuff smells so good it just smells like fruity wonderfulness because of that pomegranate and it's a true gel cream so unlike like that belief one which is more of just a gel this actually has a little bit of a creamy texture to it where it feels like it's moisturizing my skin but being the summertime I am more oily and this doesn't over moisturize it's like the perfect amount of moisture um, during the night I'll just mix it with a little bit of jojoba oil to give it a little bit more punch but during the day it doesn't make me oily it makes my skin stay pretty matte but I still get my moisture out of it I am just over the moon with this. This is by far right now my favorite summertime moisturizer. I'm just really obsessed with it. Doesn't have any SPF, but I mean, I got that Sephora Sun Safety Kit, so I can kind of layer whatever I want on top of it. Overall, if you are combination skin and you're looking for good summertime moisturizer, this has you covered. I got a new Laura Mercier paint wash. This is in the shade Orchid Pink. Mm, dear Lord. I have no words. This is honestly like the prettiest freaking color in the entire world. I wore this uh, just a couple of days ago and I got so many compliments. It has the same amazing formula as all the other paint washes. They are the best matte liquid lipsticks in the entire world. They dry to a demi matte finish. They're very lightweight and moisturizing and wonderful on the lips. They're not sticky. These are a real winner, guys. I highly, highly recommend you pick up one of these. They have a large range of colors, a lot of nudes, and then they have some brights like this. So kind of something to suit everyone. Uh, similarly, I got a Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge. This is in the shade number two. I think it's called Rosewood. 
Uh -uh. This is one of those grandma lipstick colors again. Also, this formulation, unlike the Laura Mercier one, dries tacky. It's like one of those old formulated, you know, liquid lipsticks where you like press your lips together and you're like, oh my god, they just like stick. Uh, and this color online looked a million times more pink and so I was kind of thinking to use it uh, for my wedding and no, this is going back. I don't like the formulation. The color is awful. It's so bad. It's like just this weird brown with like a slight tint of rose lipstick but it just looks so bad on me. Uh, I tried it today and I wore it at work and I was like oh I felt so self-conscious. I thought my lips just looked awful so uh, -uh. like I said returning that guy. And then, very finally, the last thing I have to talk about is this Sephora Beauty Insider. This was a 500 point perk. It's this Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Set. Comes with the 5-in-1 Styling Treatment, the Prime Style Extender Spray, and then the Shampoo and Conditioner. I have so far tried the 5-in-1 Styling Treatment, the Shampoo and the Conditioner. Haven't tried the spray yet. Uh, this stuff doesn't smell very good, which is kind of a little bit off-putting. I really like hair care that smells good. So that's like the one gripe I have about it. Other than that, the conditioner is really nice and nourishing without being thick and heavy. And the shampoo for a sulfate-free shampoo really does cleanse the hair nicely. I also like that the conditioner is silicone-free. I think that that's amazing because you're really getting nourishment to the hair and it's not just all silicones and fake stuff. The 5-in-1 styling treatment is great, really reduces frizz, it really kind of locks in whatever style you're trying to do, and especially if you're round brushing your hair, mm, so good. Um, but the smell is just, I don't know, it's just not what I was expecting it to be. I just want it to smell a little bit more like professional hair care. I'm not saying I wouldn't purchase the full sizes, I maybe would. I gotta honestly test it out a little bit more and kind of see how my hair does with it, you know, like right after it's colored and sort of see how it progresses as my hair, like I think I got this color just a couple of weeks ago, so I'm still kind of testing it out to make sure it doesn't make my hair color run and stuff. And like I said, I only uh, shampoo my hair like once or twice a week. So I haven't had too much experience with this stuff, but so far what I've had has been pretty good. If I had to change one thing, it would just be the smell. Um, but other than that, I do like it. Okay guys, I think I'm finally done. I gotta get going to my dance thing, and uh, I just wanna thank you all so much for watching. Sorry, I'm kind of rushing this ending, but um, I will talk to you all next time. Bye-bye.